you guys ever like when Dip John like really nailed the take or something, like put a dog just in his mouth, scrap him out of here? No, but if he really nailed the take, we'd let him out of the head. <laughs> <laughs> he was in that thing all the time. All all the time. He was such a such a great sport. I think he really taught us a lot about dedication because he was in either he uh, they um, the team built a uh, uh, a plastic head that didn't have the gears and everything in it. It was a lot lighter and a lot more easier to breathe. But he would have that on because we can't we couldn't look at John in the eye because he was here and Doggy Kruger's eyes were up here. So he used to have to wear that in between takes. So he was always in a head, which is in a you know eight months of shooting. You know, 15 hour days for a long time. But he he was a natural leader too. He really, um, you know, was like an authority figure for these guys. It was actors. It, there was, uh, you know, a lot of situations where he, you know, that voice. That's John's voice too, as Cody Kruger. And he was just very strong and and commanding. And when we were fooling around and stuff, he'd just be like, "Hey, let's go, Rangers, let's go!" And everybody, oh, okay. So it was. Uh, he took the role very, very seriously and, and uh, helped us keep everything in a serious track. Um, for like SWAT and all that, did you guys have to do any like military actual training or anything? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Well, boot camp, like the two weeks we had at boot camp was pretty much military training. Mm -hmm. and I, like, well, I mean, it was not military training, it was karate training, mm -hmm. but it was pretty intense. We should have to come. Well, I don't really have a microphone in front of me, so. Um, not, can you guys hear me about this? Um, not specifically for SWAT, but I mean, we were constantly training throughout the eight months, and then we had the, the two weeks which were dedicated specifically for the martial arts training um, at the beginning of the series. So that kind of prepared us for, for SWAT. Is that what and then SWAT in itself was like yeah. training. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just, we just happened to be filming at the time. We were literally running through sand dunes and up crazy sand hills, and I mean, that was training in itself. So we were exhausted after every day of filming, especially after that episode. I think it's just interesting to me because that's what I do for my job, so. Oh, right, you're in the Navy, right? Oh, you're in the Air Force. Air Force, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was, that was, uh, that was Brandon. That was Brandon. <laughs> yeah, there was a massive sand dune that um, he, because uh, there's that sequence where we're all, we all think we're calling for each other, um, and he had to run, like Chris had to run down the sand, the sand dune, which is a lot easier, but uh, Brandon had to keep running up and then like um, resetting back down, and they would have to uh, rake the sand so it didn't look like he had footsteps on it, and then run up further. And by the third take or so, he kept doing it. Um, they yelled "cut," but he kept running. <laughs> and then we just we, we decided that we were just gonna <laughs> not like let the next scene like say it louder to see how far he could go. <laughs> he was really happy about it too. <laughs> I'm sorry if this was already asked, but why did Boone become orange and not some other color? Yeah, you know, it was um, when, when I was writing that episode, I just tried different things in my mind, but just orange, just it's just a funny word. It's just a funny color, you know. And, and it uh, nothing rhymes with orange. Yeah, nothing rhymes with orange. Orange story. In this language. Orange, orangey glad. I love that. Um, <laughs> but it it also seemed to to fit in like. My favorite color is purple, so I was like, ooh, yeah, I'll do purple right here. But it just wasn't funny, it was more cool. I was trying to come up with like an uncool thing that's still... <laughs> See, but he made it cool. But the joke was supposed to be like, even in his, in his fantasy, that it, he still just didn't quite fit in. You know? It was like, it, it stands out. And um, orange just sort of seemed like the best choice. I remember when they did your, your hair for that. It was pretty <laughs> funny. Yep. Well, did any fun stuff happen with the robot dog? With the Rick. Right. Rick was always breaking. Yeah. Um, that wasn't your fault. Yes. I guess it was my fault. But, uh, oh. Um, but well, I mean, what do you mean? With 
Live action acid drink. 